Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you Megalite. Uh, we're going to have a little tutorial to show you how to set it up and I'm going to monitor some of the performance as well in comparison to regular light. So for this I'm going to use the new preview version of 5.5.0 that you're going to need. Remember that this is a preview so it's going to be susceptible to crashing and things are going to change so this tutorial might be out of date very quickly. Also, I couldn't find any documentation on this, so feel free to challenge anything that I tell you in this video and ask any questions in the comments. For this, I'm using October's free marketplace asset, which is Temples of Cambodia by Scans Factory, which looks absolutely amazing and as of yet is incompatible with Unreal 5.5. So what I had to do was to add it to an empty project in Unreal 5.4.4 then launch 5.5.0 and then open the legacy project to update it. If you're launching 5.5.0 for the first time, you are going to have to compile shaders and install prerequisites, which could take some time. To open an existing 5.4 project, we can simply go in here and click open. Once this project is open, I am going to open the map, which is under demo maps. And I'm going to open the interior map here, Temples of Cambodia interior. Now, the first thing to notice is upon launching, we need to change a couple of things to make this work. What I'm going to do is just go into the lighting folder here. And you don't have to have this level. You can do this with a existing level. But one of the useful things about this is lights are already converted to mega lights in this scene. So if I just search for mega here under the details, we have a option here to allow or disallow mega lights here. Now I'll show you how to enable mega lights. There's a couple of ways to do this. The first thing you'll want to do is to go into project settings and here you can enable it on the entire project by clicking to activate it there. And it tells us that we need to have hardware ray tracing enabled and this can be overridden with the post process. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if I just go in here and search now for hardware ray tracing Ensure this is turned on. If it's not on, you will have to click this and restart the project. I'm just gonna close out the project settings here now and show you how we can turn this on on the post-process volume. If you don't have a post-process volume in your level, you will have to add one. So you can go in here and just search post-process and drag it into the scene like this. Now, if you're dragging in a post-process for the first time, what you'll need to do is just ensure that it's unbound. That means it's going to affect the entire level rather than just a section. The next thing we can do is literally search for mega lights here in our post process to enable or disable this. Now, as I've turned it on in my main level here, I'm just gonna turn it off here again on the main level and just rely solely on the post process so I can turn it on and off and show you the difference. So if I go into my post process now and disable and enable this, we can start to see the difference. Now I'm gonna show you some performance monitoring here as well. I have an FPS counter here. If you want to get this on, you can type a console command. You can press the tilde key above your F1 to get this up, or you can just type it in this box here and you can just type stat FPS there and you can click this activated. I've just deactivated it so I'm just going to turn this on again and this will show us the frames. Immediately with just these five lights if I turn it on and off we see a drop of about six FPS. I'm running an RTX 4080 here so in order to see some real performance we're probably going to have to throw in a whole bunch of these lights. Now with these lights that are in this scene and this is not the same for all lights I noticed that when I turn on mega lights, everything is a little bit brighter. Also, the bloom on my post process had to be tweaked a little bit, but this does seem to be specific to these lights. And if I start a new scene with other lights, it doesn't seem to be as relevant. I will show you that by just bringing in a light here in the corner and showing you what I mean. So if I go in here now and just search for a light and grab this point light, make sure it's set to movable. Bring the intensity down to about 0 0.5. And then move this up above our scene to about there. I can now 
show you how to individually turn on mega lights. Click that light again and search for mega light. I can turn this on and off. And there is a little interesting thing here to note. And I don't know if this is just a pre-release thing, but shadows do differ slightly. Without the mega lights turned on, they seem to be a little bit more detailed. Again, this might just be this level and the way it's set up, but we're getting less definition on those levels, on those uh, shadows there, or there seems to be more shadows with the mega light turned off. This is a great control because you can choose where you want mega lights and where you don't want mega lights. So if your platform doesn't support it, for example, or something like that, you can activate or deactivate these. I'm just gonna remove this light and go back to our scene. And what I'm going to do is just add a whole bunch of other lights in here and just do a profile with or without the mega lights to see what kind of performance we are getting here. Now there's this torch here, which is in this level, which has a mega light already attached, I hope. Yep, already activated there. So what I'm gonna do is just wildly duplicate this and then check on my performance. So I can see now, as soon as I turn this on and off, I'm getting a pretty big frame drop, but let's go a step further and do some profiling with mega lights off now and see what happens here. So I can see there my FPS is there. I'm gonna use something new here where I'm going to type in profile GPU. Click that, activate that. Wait for my Unreal to stop choking. Put that over there. And here under scene, we can actually see lights here as 3.81. I'm gonna leave this on here and I'm gonna stop and I'm going to activate Make a lights again in the post process. And I'm gonna drag this next to the other one and just do a little comparison here. Here we can see mega lights 1.22. Here we can see lights as 3.81. This is without mega lights, this is with mega lights. So we're getting a considerable amount of performance here for the amount of lights that I have. I know some of you will be keen to try this out with more lights, but I have something like 60 instances of this torch light here. So look forward to more testing and seeing what else this can do and how these features develop in when it becomes production ready. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and comment.